Hey everyone, I just thought I'd come on and uh, I'm actually responding to a comment. Someone asked me uh, just a bit about the way I play guitar. Uh, obviously playing thrash metal, extreme metal, whatever, um, and not using a guitar pick. Uh, the question was, how do I do alternate picking? So the cool thing about not using a pick is I actually have three options to do this. Um, with a pick, you know, you, you just straight down up, down up your alternate picking, right? But I actually have three ways to do it now, um, and I'm going to go through them here. So we're going to take a three note phrase here, and it's just... Right? That really fast drill picking, um, there's three ways I would do it. The first one is, I just turn my hand into cartilage, and I use small wrist movements, okay? So if you're like, imagine your hand's just really, really, your fingers just slop, it's absolute butter. Um, but the wrist... Is controlled just as if you were using a pick so that's the obvious one it's sort of you're using the edge of your nail uh, kind of just to simulate a pick I suppose all right so that's one way so yeah I'm just using the corner of the nail and as I say it's like cartilage it's just like absolute slop but I make the wrist movement more controlled just like using a pick and um, you play lighter and if you play lighter you'll be able to play faster now with playing extreme metal of any style you have the advent of high gain you know usually so that means that it actually does a lot of the work for you as well so again so it's just that motion there another way you can do it and it's if you don't want to palm mute is you can use your thumb and it's kind of a thing you'll see a lot of uh, bass players do the double thumbing um, again I use the edge of my nail but there's been times whenever I broke my nail and I had to not do it and it was as simple as just like kind of tightening up the thumb and using sort of the tip of the fleshy part of my thumb so you can do it like this And it has that same sort of aggression, but not without the palm muting. So if you want to have that more kind of, I guess, black metal type <laughs> type picking where it's all open and just crazy sounding. I actually anchor on the pick guard. Now that's one thing I love about the Les Paul. I love a arch top guitar, but I need that that scratch plate to anchor my my hand on when I'm doing this particular technique. But if you have a flat top guitar, an Ibanez or some sort of Jackson or something then it's even easier obviously so anchor your hand and that gives you the stability and again it's small wrist movement okay and it's just that third one then is piccato which is the classical technique that uh, i suppose all the classical players use and I suppose bass players too so that's like this and that's I actually use three fingers there so that's using the three fingers so yeah what I'll usually do is just let the thumb either rest on the pickup ring or sometimes on the string it depends where I'm going So it is just that piccato technique, it's, you know, uh, very straightforward type classical, flamenco, etc, etc, technique. And you have to work on it slow. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do it. And playing with the band, doing the acid age stuff, it goes really well. It works perfect. Um, I can still play the super fast thrash stuff, the really ripping stuff. I can do it, you know, across the strings. It's just a matter of practice. So yeah, there you go.